you want to support my work, check out my Patreon. And if you enjoy the ASMR, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't care what you have to do. Just keep it contained, you hear me? Nobody thinks that's yours. Come in. Good to see you. Please, have a seat. Now then, I asked you to come to my office for a reason. And that reason is, you've been sneaking around and speaking with those things. It's all on the cameras, so don't try to lie to me about it. Now, in all other cases we've had of this sort of thing, we would be talking about you clearing out your... desk or locker or whatever, and you would be sent home jobless. But in this case, you're in luck. You get a promotion. Well, you see... I, as well as some of the lab techs, have been watching videos of you talking to those things, and we think you might be just the sort we need to help. How to put this? Hmm. Ah, yes. Keep them calm, or at least keep them busy for a bit as we study them more, and work out the kinks, troubleshoot things with them. But mind you, this position isn't a sure thing. You have to take a test run first, so to speak. Oh no no no, you won't be dealing with Bunzo or PJ. You'll be helping us out with one of our, well, let's say, test models of Huggy Wuggies. Nothing to worry about. All you need to do is speak with it and see what it wants to keep it happy. Ah, yes, well, you see, none of the lab techs can get it to talk with them. It just talks to itself now. Enough about those things, will you take the test or do you want to be fired and clean out your desk or locker or whatever? Good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Now, here's your lab coat. Keep it clean and keep track of your new employee ID, as your new lab coat and ID will be coming out of your paycheck. Now, you have work to do, so get going. No time to change out of your coveralls. Put your lab coat over them. Get going to room 14. You know the way. It's the same hallway as Bunzo and PJ's room. Now off you go. You have work to do. ID, please. All right, go on in. And since this is your first day, knock two times on the door and say open if you want to get out. Got it? Good. Hmm. Oh, it's one of you. 
one of those people in their white coats. I'm not talking. You're one of them. A janitor? Really? Don't lie to me. So, you stole an ID badge from a man in a white coat on your way here. So why see me then? There are other rooms, you know. You've met Bunzo and PJ already? Then maybe you are nice. Maybe you're not like the others in the white coats. You do seem nice, too. So, why did you come here? You wanna know why I don't talk much? They don't feed me enough, so I don't feel like speaking much, okay? Oh, I've asked, but what I like to eat has to be fresh, raw, and bloody. <laughs> it's so hard to get enough of it to feed me. Oh, <laughs> it's not that kind of meat. I'm not talking about ground beef, you know. I won't bite. <laughs> oh, but it's just a hug. The only ones who don't want hugs are grumps and those people in the white coats. You're one of them, aren't you? You lied to me, didn't you? <laughs> I'll remember you. I won't forget. Blaze Pierre wants to see you in his office again. So move it now. <laughs> Sounds like hugging. 